Hello, here's a visualization of a problem where you can make five movements at a time traveling and you can go north, south, east, or west. And the problem is, what's the range of your travel? And the problem is supposed to be solved with a little bit more thinking, but once again, here I am with a brute force solution to a problem. You can see there's a heat map here. We're traveling most commonly close to where we start, so it's not likely that you'll randomly choose north, 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 north. But there it just did, <laughs> and finally filled out that top spot. Um, okay, let's write this code from, uh, from scratch. We're going to do it in P5.js. And first I'm going to make it without the heat map, because the heat map makes a lot of the complexity of it. Let's set up the spacing between the cells there. And the maximum number of jumps. And then we're going to have an array with the four different movement choices as vectors. And we're going to have a position vector. Okay, and set up, we create the canvas. Let's set the background. to light gray. And uh, the stroke color will be yellow. And if we come over here and switch to here and load, there's our uh, light gray background. So let's keep going. And the Stroke weight, those uh, circles are just using P5.js, just points with a very large stroke weight. And we want the stroke weight to be a function of the spacing. Now we'll create a vector for, the, for our position. And that starts at the origin. Um, which we will relocate to the center where we would normally expect to find it in math. And then I'm going to, just to shorten some code coming up, I'm going to make kind of an alias for create vector so I don't have so much code in this next line. Here we're making the movement choices, which is an array. And we're going to make vectors for these possible movements. So CV, create vector, 1 comma 0, that's a move to the right. And I'm going to have uh, four of these. So let me just duplicate that three times. And then we'll change the numbers. So the next move is, is up. So that's 0 on x and 1 on y. And the next move is left. That's negative 1 on x and 0 on y. And the final move is down, which is 0x and minus 1y. So those are the four directions we can go encoded in an array of vectors, p5 vectors. That's it for setup. Now for draw, I mentioned we want to translate the origin to the center. And then um, I want a function that will draw the point. We're going to call it. We're going to call it a few times uh, along the path, and then once for the drawing the center. So that's why we're making a function. And it's going to use the p5.js point function, and it's going to draw a point at the x coordinate of the position, and uh, oh, but scaled by spacing. And same thing for y. All right, that's the draw point function. Now we need to draw the point at the origin. So we set the position to 0, 0. Um, we're starting it at 0, 0, but we have to reset it each time. And then we're going to call draw point. And at this point, there should be something to see over here. So let's take a look. No. Is there an error? 
missing initializer in const line 12. Oh, right. That is supposed to look like this. Okay. Try again. Uh, CW is not defined. Line 13. Ha, <laughs> I did. I spelled that wrong. So let's change that. And then we'll just do a refactor rename to CV for create vector. That fixes that. Okay, that's good you're seeing me make some mistakes. There's the point in the center. And we'll close that. Okay, making some progress here. We've got that point. Now we have to draw the, we have to do the jumps and draw at those points. We need a loop. So we'll make one of these kinds of loops. And we'll use uh, I, start at zero, go to, remember max jumps up above. And that's good. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to randomly choose one of the movements from movement choices. And um, we'll assign that to M, and we'll use the P5's random function, which not only generates numbers and ranges, but it'll randomly choose something from an array. And we have our movement choices array. Uh, so now we have a random movement. And we can add that movement to the position vector quite conveniently. And now draw the point. And let's see what we have. Ooh, look. There we go. There's that. Let's look at the differences in the code for the version that has the heat map feature. We need to keep track of how many times we visit each cell here. And we do that based on the coordinates of the cell. And we have a JavaScript object called visit counts that's keyed by the coordinates. And then we need to count the number of visited points because we have a display of that down here. And these uh, paragraph tags are for these displays. And in this setup, we switch to the hue saturation brightness color mode to make it more convenient to have a smooth transition between yellow and red. And we create the paragraphs for the paragraph tags for the trips and the visited displays. And in draw, we determine what the current heat value is before we draw a point. We go to visit counts at that position and if there's a uh, number there, it'll be, it means that we visited it and it's a count of how many times we've been there. So um, that's what that is. And if we don't get a number, we've never been there, then we add one to our unique, to our count of uh, visited points. Then we add one to the visit counts in the object. Here, this is the maximum number of visits to a place that we care about. If you've been there more than 100 times, we don't get any redder or change the hue or anything. And here, we take the lowest, the lower of the heat map index, this 100, and the visit count. And then we map that from 0 to that 100 into the range 360 over 6, which is yellow, to 0, which is red uh, on the hues. So kind of think of a circle, and yellow is a sixth of the way over, and then as you go back, uh, you go back towards red. And then when we do stroke, we set the hue here, and then here's the uh, saturation and brightness. These are the maximum values for these. And what else happens? Here we increment the number of trips, and then here we do the HTML work to set the number of trips and the uh, visited. Okay, so that's a visualization of the range of space you explore when you can make five random movements chosen from uh, north, south, east, and west.